Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen. It's been such a long time since I filmed a YouTube video. I don't know how long it's been, like six months maybe? I don't know. But I'm finally back and I'm finally here and I'm filming another, well, I'm filming a new YouTube video uh, talking about my DIY adaptive crochet aid. Before we get started, I like to say hello to all the new people who came on this video, whether you're from YouTube or from Instagram or from TikTok and you stumble upon this video. Hello, my name is Helen. If you don't know my story, I had a hemiplegic stroke 10 years ago. I have a very, very, very weak arm and hand, so I can't crochet with two hands. And that's why I need my uh, DIY adaptive crochet aid. Side note here, all the timestamps will be down below. So if you don't want to hear me like chit chat about random things or, I mean, everything is relevant in this video, but if you don't want to hear that and you want to go straight to like the examples of me like showing my crochet, you may do that in the description box down below. So go and check that out. Back to the main point here. Because I can't use my arm and hand to crochet, I had to think of like another way. And trust me, like I've tried every single way, like holding the crochet piece using my other arm or holding the crochet hook using my other arm. But me personally, my arm is very unstable and it feels flails around everywhere and I can't use my hand at all. So that process of holding my hand and like forcing it to stay there is very uncomfortable. So unfortunately, I can't use my right arm to help me crochet in any way. And I guess this is another point that I would like to make. Just because I can't use my right arm to help me crochet doesn't mean that you can. If you have a stable arm and you are okay with resting your arm on top of the crochet piece or it doesn't bring you any pain or yeah, maybe you have a weak hand but you have like a, a functional arm, maybe you could try that and you don't necessarily need a crochet aid like me but, um, but this is all um, personal preference and what feels the most comfortable for you. So I'm going to add this also. So some people in my comments were asking if they could use my adaptive crochet aid if they have two fully functional hands because they feel like it's easier or maybe their hand, they say that their hand um, gets tired easily and they think that this crochet will help them. For that, I would say if you have two fully functional hands and it doesn't bring, like crocheting doesn't bring you any pain, you may want to look at ergonomic hooks, like ergon ergonomic crochet hooks, because um, they may solve that problem for you. Alternatively, you can also stick a tennis ball through the crochet. I don't know how that works, but yeah, just search that up on your own time. And plus, there isn't just one way to crochet with two hands. You don't have to like hold one arm, like one hook like this and then crochet like this. Um, you can hold your crochet hook like, like um, it's called, the, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called the knitter's way or something where you hold the hook straight in front of you and then you like, like, I don't know how to do it, but there's like a lot of people do it. So maybe that could be another way that you can crochet instead of the traditional way. Those are just some suggestions. Of course, it's personal preference, but because you have, let's say you have two functional arms and it doesn't bring you any pain, no weakness, nothing. I feel like you should look at other alternative ways to crochet, for example, using ergonomic hooks and stuff like that before you use a crochet aid, if you know what I mean. One more thing, I'm not persuading you to use a crochet aid and stuff like that. It's just for people who need it, um, this is the video for you. And I guess I should add this point also. A lot of people from my Instagram and my TikTok have asked me if this is a choice, if this the crocheting this way is easier and it's not a choice. I have to, I had to crochet this way because it's the only 
way that works for me. If I could crochet with two hands, of course I'll crochet with two hands, but I can't because of my weak arm and hand. And so therefore I have to crochet with this crochet aid, which is why I say if you want to crochet and you have two functional hands and arms and everything else and you don't have pain or weakness or anything else, you should find the best way for you to crochet using those hands, both of your hands, um, whether it's using ergonomic hooks or tennis ball or crocheting a different way. Yeah, just find there has to be something out there for you. And it's not an unfortunate thing that I have to use a crochet aid to crochet. It's just the way things are. And actually, I'm very, very, very fortunate that I've stumbled across the video that inspired me to build this DIY crochet aid. Because without that video, I probably would be not crocheting like right now. <laughs> or ever. I'm very grateful to have stumbled across that video for YouTube and like social media in general because without social media I wouldn't be able to meet all of you guys and without that YouTube video um, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> now to summarize and give my last few points, uh, this is my crochet aid that helps me crochet with one hand and it's all because of that video my parents and my sister my parents who designed and constructed this specific crochet aid my sister for introducing me to crochet actually i didn't know what crocheting was before she introduced it to me like during 2020 and of course lastly that video that changed my whole perspective on crocheting and made me think that hey maybe I can do this too and I did and I'm, I'm forever forever grateful for that video because I could have never in a million years thought of a way to crochet with one hand using this aid I could I I would have never thought of that so yeah thank you so much <laughs> down below there are two blog posts so the first one is seven ways you can crochet with one hand and it talks about like seven ways that I've compiled um, while researching on the internet. Of course, this is not the only seven ways. There is probably more in existence, but I have not come across those ways yet. So yeah, check it out if you want to. The second blog post is how to build my crochet aid and it's just like a written um, article. So if you would rather read an article instead of watch a video, then you may do that instead. I think that is it for now. So let's get on to the video. This is my adaptive crochet aid and I'm going to do a little pan around it. So here we have the clip on base. Here we have the wooden part which connects to the base and over here we have the screw. So I'm going to explain what each of these parts do and how it all functions. This is the crochet hook where you can take it off and put another crochet hook instead. For example, here's another crochet hook. I can put this other crochet hook onto my crochet aid and then using the screw right here, I can turn it and it will be stable like this. If I loosen it up, turn the other way, it will fall down like this. So here's the crochet aid. I put it in, I slide it in like this. And now I turn the screw so it's tight and secure like this. And then I just you know, fix the crochet aid so it's facing me. And here is my crochet project that I'm doing. Here I am making a crochet zucchini, a slice of a zucchini. Let's focus our attention on this screw. So if you twist this screw, it will loosen up and you can slide the crochet hook off like this. And you can actually um,
So this is the screw that is in this hole, was, was in this hole, as you can see. This is called a T-screw. If you want to reference what this screw is, it's all in my blog post, so check it out. There is also a hole right here, if you can see, for the crochet hook to slide into. And then also another hole right here um, for the screw. Now let's put the screw back on to the crochet aid. Another question that you may have about my crochet aid is why, what is this wooden piece doing here? What purpose does it hold? Well, it's for the height. So let's say um, your table is very low or very high. Um, you may uh, cut this wood like smaller or make it longer. It really depends on what you need as a crocheter. And also it's for, um, for the crochet hook to slide in and yeah. Because this is a DIY crochet aid, you can make it the way you want it. So if you feel like you want your crochet aid to be higher, then you can add like the, the length of this taller. If you want the crochet to be lower, then you can um, like cut down the wood and stuff. I also suggest you find some finished wood for the wooden piece that I have here. I have unfinished wood, which is tricky to work with um, because when I'm crocheting, the yarn usually gets like, gets, it rubs against the unfinished wood and it, and it kind of like, I don't know, um, what's the word for it? Like, it sticks to the unfinished wood. I, I don't like that. Let's say you have a wooden chair, like a broken wooden chair, but you kept it for like all these years. Well, you may have a purpose for it now because you can like cut off one of the legs or something or yeah, and then build this crochet aid if you have one. But if I were to redo this and make it better than it is right now, I think I would, well, obviously I would use finished wood to build this crochet aid. So that's just one of the tips that I would give you if you were building a DIY one. Let's talk about the clip-on base now. This clip-on base is actually from a fan that my dad bought like years ago and he forgot about it. And so, and he actually broke the fan, but he kept all the pieces like in the basement and like forgot about it. And then when we were thinking of ways to build this crochet aid, he thought that maybe he could use this clip-on base to like hold like the base of this crochet because there's this clip on like um thing the, where you can clip it onto a table and crochet like that and the reason why we proceeded on this choice was because you can actually like there's screws if you can't see um where you can actually take the fan off of the base and then because the fan it not only come with this it not only comes with this clip on base but it also has like a something like a you can i don't know what's it called but you can uh place it on a table like a, a another base not a clip on base but another base where you can just like lay it flat there so yeah but i don't think we had the um the base like the on where you can like put it on a flat surface. We only had the clip-on base, so yeah. My dad had to drill one hole over here so that the clip-on base could fit in the hole, like the screw of the clip-on base could fit in the hole. And we uh, drilled one, well he drilled one hole here for the crochet hole to go through, and then one hole here so that the screw could go through. Unfortunately, there is, I don't think there is any video online about the step-by-step -step process of getting from the raw materials 
building and like drilling the holes and cutting the wood to the finished product. I don't have a video of that. I'm so sorry. And if I ever find another one of these, I will absolutely do another video explaining the process and showing you guys the process of building a crochet like this one. Everything that I am explaining here is just a a, a word by word of what happened. Um, I can't actually show you what happened, unfortunately, but I hope this video makes sense. Of course, if you have any questions, um, comment them down below. I would love to chat with you guys and um, probably do like an updated video on this whole like crochet aid thing. Yeah. So this is the POV version of how I crochet with one hand using my crochet aid. So I think this is the closest we can get without distorting anything. So let's begin. In this crochet piece, I'm doing a back loop only double crochet. And this is my left hand and I only use my left hand to uh, basically control the yarn. So I'm gonna do a double crochet right now so like this i'm sorry but the camera is in front of me like in between me and the crochet aid, so it's kind of hard to um film this way but i'll try okay now i've done a uh back loop double crochet i'm going to fast forward this clip so you can see how i crochet pov Let's zoom out and change the crochet hook. We have a six millimeter hook here, right over here. And we're gonna change that five millimeter hook to this six millimeter hook. First, we are going to um, take off this piece right over here. We're gonna put it aside. We are going to screw, like loosen the screw. So turn it and then take the five millimeter hook off like this. We're going to take the six millimeter crochet hook. We are going to fit it into the hole and then turn the screw so that it's tight like this. Here I have a round that I have already started. As you can see, you can do rows and rounds, like anything you can do with traditional crocheting, you can do with a crochet aid similar to this one. So I'm just going to fast forward the next clip so you can see me uh, doing rounds, crocheting rounds. Another thing that I would like to point out is you don't need this crochet aid if you have an arm, let's say, that is stable enough to hold your crochet hook or um, maybe in a hand that's weak but is able to hold your crochet hook or your um, crocheting piece, like the piece that you're working on. For me, I don't have any strength or stability in my right arm to be able to hold the crochet piece or the hook. So that's why I would need this crochet aid to help me hold the hook like stationary sideways. I mean like uh, horizontally like this. But I think it's definitely trial and error. I think that you have to find out which 
way is most comfortable for you and um yeah because we're all individuals and just because this way of crocheting works for me doesn't mean it will work for you or the next person so yeah just try everything and then see if anything works for you we are gonna do a simple half double crochet and we're just doing um i'm just doing the chains right now just to show you guys the process of um, crocheting this way so I'm just doing a few chains maybe like I don't know how many is that four uh, five six okay I'm having trouble because the camera is in the way okay so, so I'm so sorry okay I guess this is good enough okay I'm gonna do it this way so we're going to let's do one more so now we are going to half double crochet so uh yarn over and then put the loop like uh the loop okay and then yarn over and then um yarn them all over take them off the hook like this i'm so bad at this oh my god i'm just going to let this uh crocheting part run by itself uh, I'm gonna fast forward this part because obviously I can't crochet and talk at the same time so yeah I'll see you after bye And a row of half double crochets are finally finished. And that was it. If you want to see more POV versions of me crocheting using my crochet aid, just comment them down below and I will be sure to film them in the future. Another thing that I would like to mention about my crochet aid and the way that I crochet. Well, in the beginning of my TikTok, I guess, like, um, about like me sharing uh, my crochet aid, you know, um, I got a few of these comments saying that I was cheating and that it's illegal and that you shouldn't crochet you that way or something. And I like I would like to talk about that. Let's take a step back. I feel like a lot of people misconstrue or misinterpret what my crochet aid actually does. I think that some people think it's a crochet machine, which is false because crocheting machines don't exist. There's only knitting machines, but yeah, that's for like another topic for another day. Essentially, what my crocheting aid does, it, it basically holds one of the crochet hooks stationary so I can use just one hand to crochet using um, holding the yarn with that hand to crochet. My crochet aid, for instance, only requires me to use one hand to crochet and that um, benefits me because I can't use my other arm and hand. And basically that's all it does. It's basically, I said basically so many times, but essentially it's just a structure to hold a crochet hook stationary that's all it does and it doesn't do anything it doesn't help me it doesn't it can't speak to me like it does nothing except hold the crochet hook in place so I can use my other hand and the yarn to like move and to um, yeah and like make knots and um, weave in and all that stuff yeah that's that's basically it <laughs> And it's the same thing as holding the crochet hook with my other arm. Let's say my other arm was stable enough to hold the crochet hook. So I'm gonna show you how that is like. 
So I'm gonna do an example to show you what I mean. So this is my knee, my uh, left knee, and this is my right hand. This is my crochet hook. And I'm just going to put this here and I'm gonna use my right hand to hold it. And then, yeah, so, oops, see, I, it's not stable, but, okay. So essentially it's the same concept except I am not using my crochet aid. I'm using my hand and my knee. The moral of the story is that crochet aids are not cheating and if you need to use them, you can use them. And it's basically the same thing as if, if you were using your hand and your knee holding the stationary, I mean, holding the crochet hook stationary. It's the same thing. And same thing with other aids in the fi fiber arts world, the community, and other aids in the art community. They're there to help people, um, just, just to help them. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's basically it. <laughs> Anyways, I think I have a few more things to say, but for now, this is how I crochet and why a crocheting aid, a crochet aid is not cheating. Before I leave, I'm gonna tell you a secret. I think it's a secret, I don't know, but I am going to receive a package and it's going to be a knitting aid, a one-handed knitting aid. I'm very, very excited. I am a tester for that knitting aid. So uh, yeah, I can't wait to try the knitting aid out. And I think that um, this knitting aid will be revolutionary for sure. And uh, maybe if it doesn't really work, I'm sure like um, the improvements and like it's gonna be, it's gonna be revolutionary. It's gonna change how we, like, how we look at like aids and just like uh, adaptive aids, basically. I don't know what I'm saying, but anyways, I'm I'm so excited, and I cannot wait until the package arrives. I think when I uh, when I upload this, um, it probably is already has already arri arrived. So yeah but I will keep you posted on the knitting aid. And if you would like to uh, follow me and my journey, you can follow me on Instagram. All the links are down below and you can follow me on TikTok also. Before we end this video, I would like to talk about some other crochet aids out there. What are some of the options or alternatives that you may look at if you can't make a DIY one like mine or yeah. Anyways, first we're going to talk about DIY crochet aids. If you can't find a clip-on base, you can alternatively find those clamps. You can usually find them in hardware stores or yeah, hardware stores, you can usually find them, or you can also, I'm, I'm sure online there's plenty, um, you can use those. And for the wood, I think um, you should find wood in most, I mean, in all hardware stores. And for the screws, um, this is called a T-screw. I have it written down on my blog post. Definitely check it out if you are wanting to build something like mine. Another thing is if you cannot make a DIY one like mine, that is okay. There is actually something in the market right now that is similar to my crochet aid. It has the same concept, but it's built a bit different. Um, the brand is called Tadact. I'll put the name below in the description box and also the link to that specific product. The concept of that crochet aid is like exactly the same as my crochet aid. It helps hold one of the crochet hooks while your other arm, whether left or right, can crochet by using that arm only, that hand and arm only. I do have a few concerns regarding that product and I might do like a review on this channel. I did a review on my blog post. Like I said, if you can build a crochet aid like mine, you can always um, find alternative uh, options like Tadact and their own adaptive crochet aid. So please, 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 if you don't think that this is a viable option for you, please go check that out. 
on Instagram, there is a person that sent me photos of the crochet aid that she made um, that was inspired by my crochet aid and it's so similar, it's so wonderful and I'm going to link that Instagram post down below in the in the description box down below so go check it out um, if you are wanting to find some inspiration on building a crochet aid like mine. I think that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If I think of anything else to say, I will do an updated video about it. I will see you later. I will talk to you later. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.